Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, let's check what is happening with Throne and Liberty. Current situation regarding Korean version of the game and regarding global release. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. As you can see, I'm already here on official website of Throne and Liberty in Korea. And yes, I'm playing Throne and Liberty in Korea, well, basically since release. Check already lots of videos, gameplay footage and guides on my YouTube channel. But for this evening, we are not going to focus on gameplay, we are going to focus on the news. What is happening first in Korea and then regarding global release of Throne and Liberty. Regarding Korean version of the game, first big news is this here. Bandwave. Yes, NCSoft have banned more than, well, about 9,000 accounts. Why? Cheating. Cheaters have get banned. This is actually a really good move from NCSoft. I have already seen some videos uh, showing people cheating in the game. First, cheaters in Throne and Liberty. So banning 9,000 people, actually very good idea. They have even put a list of the players, actually a list of accounts. You can see here, list is really, really long. 9,000 accounts have been banned. However, that is not the biggest news. I would say from previous week, the biggest news is this here in front of you. Big new update. Basically, since the release of the game, since uh, December 7th, we have get two new updates. This is second one. And I would say this one is a little bit bigger than the previous one. Both of these updates didn't bring any kind of new weapon in the game, nothing like that. However, they have bring few new things. I will show you that in a second. This is original version of the updates. Here on subreddit, I have found this shorter version recap of this uh, update. Thank you very much to Mikhail75. Uh, let's check what is written here. Silius Abyss floor 3 and 4 opened. Two field bosses, guild raids added. This is nice. Come on, this is actually really nice content uh, additionally to already existing content of Throne and Liberty. New regional events and territory conquest added. Okay. Proportion of peaceful events has been increased. As several milestones are reached, the proportion of conflict events will increase again. Low level events will not always be peaceful. In Throne and Liberty, we have lots of different regional and local events. During these events, you need to hunt different kind of mobs, collect items and then deliver these items to have better position on the ranking list. However, some of these events are conflict one, so PvP is possible, and some of these events are not conflict, they are peaceful events, so no PvP. You can see here, they have increased amount of peaceful events, however, they will increase in the future again amount of conflict events, don't worry, you have basically at the same time, you have conflict events and peaceful events. So if you are a PvP player, you can go where you have conflict event. If you are a PvE player, you don't want to PvP, it's okay. There is always lots of peaceful events. So very good move from NCSoft regarding that. They are trying to balance amount of these conflict events, PvP events and PvE events, peaceful ones. Party recruitment tool added. You post your group on a list instead of spamming chat, people apply there. This is interesting. So in the game, currently, we don't have any kind of matchmaking system, which is kind of, I wouldn't say it's strange. Uh, we have seen many MMORPGs without matchmaking system. You can recruit your group on other ways. However, they have now add this party recruitment tool. As soon as I get in the game, same moment, in about 30 minutes, I will get in the game, I will check this party recruitment tool and I will let you know on my YouTube channel how is looking that user interface, how to use this party recruitment tool. So this is something to help you, to help you a little bit when you are making group, when you are making party to go on some raid in some dungeon to help you a little bit. So this is not like matchmaking system, at least I think so. We will see that in a, in a 30 minutes, I will check it out, I will play the game over there in Korea. Make sure to check my live streams on Twitch, I am live streaming every evening about 6 p.m. Central European time, join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is interesting, some news regarding Throne and Liberty. Also, if you have any kind of questions regarding the game, be free to ask in the comments below this video and also during my live streams.
Let's check what else do we have here. Participation rewards for field bosses have been added or improved. You get boxes that include PT pieces for purple gear. Okay, this is good. Daily contracts reduced from 15 to 10. Oh, this is interesting. Daily contracts, that will be very important. I'll make dedicated video about that topic regarding contracts. I will not dive into that, but this is very important. Level recruitment for 30, 40 and 45 dungeons reduced. Number of normal mobs reduced in the sun dungeons. Multiple skills have been fixed or adjusted. Longbow charge snipe has only reset twice now. So, a longbow have get nerfed. Also wound. I have heard at least. I will need to check that. I'm still trying to play different kind of combination of weapons. Currently I'm playing with greatsword and wound combination. I used to play a longbow with greatsword. I will also try different combination of weapons in the future and before global release of the game. You will have on my YouTube channel guides regarding different kind of builds. Meta builds for DPS, ranged gameplay, melee gameplay and also for tank and healer role. You will have those videos on my YouTube channel soon but I'm still testing different kind of builds. Variety of user interface improvements variety of bugs exploits and very difficult areas and quests has been adjusted thank you very much antisoft i have noticed during leveling that yes there are some bugs in the game nothing too big nothing too big and regarding difficulty absolutely some quests are really strange very difficult to handle and uh, in general leveling is not that hard but yeah, absolutely. I hope they have improved the difficulty of some quests. They needed to do that. And maybe some quests are a little bit too easy. Absolutely. They need to increase the difficulty of these quests. But like I said, I have noticed some quests are really hardly understandable, very hard to understand, and very hard to do. So I hope they have adjusted that. Christmas even starting, you get coins in dungeons and resistance group quests, spend them for cosmetics and ami toys. So regarding these events, I have noticed currently two or three events in the game. Regarding events, I have played already many other games from NCSoft. Regarding events, that will not be an issue. I know that for Christmas, for any holiday, there will be lots of different kind of events to play in the game where you can actually grab pretty nice rewards. Maybe even I will make some dedicated video regarding events which are happening over there regarding Throne and Liberty Korean version of the game because after global release of the game, we might get some similar events here in the West. Maybe, maybe some similar events, so that will be interesting to know. Currently, we have about two or three events happening in the game where you can grab actually pretty decent rewards. And now let's talk, actually we can check now, this is the content of this uh, big new update. Nothing too huge, I would say. Some improvements, they are trying to balance a little bit a longbow and the wand as weapons. Did they nerf it too much? We will see in the future regarding wand and the longbow. However, let's talk about global version of the game. What is happening? Nothing. Nothing is happening. I Guys, I am, I am worried. I'm a little bit worried. We are now very close to Christmas and holidays are here. Absolute silence from Amazon Games, publisher of this game for global version of the game. There is no any kind of information on their official website, on official Twitter account. Last previous news was this one here from October, not October 3rd, it was October 18. So basically for two months, absolute silence from Amazon Games. I hope that very soon we'll get some news here on official website of Amazon Games because yes, currently they have focus on Eternal Frost, their new update in New World. Okay, that is kind of normal. New World is their own game. Also, Lost Ark uh, content roadmap for 2024. All of that is very nice. However, where is the news regarding Throne and Liberty? We don't have, okay, we don't have any kind of release date for now. It's okay, but we don't have even date for next testing phase. Absolutely nothing. I am a little bit worried. However, I have hope that uh, within next few days, I think uh, maybe between Christmas or New Year, we will get some news. Some kind of release date for next testing phase. They need to hurry up. They need to hurry up over there in Korea. Game is a huge success. Game is a huge success. Uh, players are mostly positive about this game. Yes, there are issues. Yes, we can talk about pay to win, about some bugs. I have already noticed some bots in the game. We can talk about that. And I will talk about that in the future on my YouTube channel. I will not talk only about positive things. I will also, uh, I will also talk about negative things. I will give you my constructive criticism of this game. Nevertheless, there is no point to wait. You have seen on my YouTube channel within the videos. Basically, game is ready 
to be released. Game is amazing. Uh, regarding text, everything is already translated to English language. Uh, regarding voiceovers, okay, Amazon games still need to do translation regarding voiceovers, optimization, localization, hardware, software for servers. I do understand that. However, game is ready. There is nothing to wait. I do understand also they want to wait a little bit to hear feedback from Korea to fix different kind of bugs uh, to give us better and improved version of the game for global release. That is good. That is good for us here in the West. We will get already fixed many things on the start, at least I hope, in global version of the game. Who knows what kind of version of the game we'll get. Maybe we'll get even this update here as first version, starting version of the game, global version of the game. Nevertheless, like I said, I don't see a reason for Amazon games to wait. I hope that very soon here on my YouTube channel, you will see some good news. Whenever I see something interesting is happening regarding Korean version of the game or regarding global release, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel. In the meanwhile, check lots of guides. I already have about 100 videos regarding Throne and Liberty. I'm not joking. About 100 videos I already have regarding different kind of in-game systems, regarding leveling, guides, regarding enchanting of gear, how to get gear, crafting, gathering, different kind of guides regarding different kind of dungeons, raids. I'm preparing for the future and like I said you'll see also some meta builds regarding weapons, ranged weapons, ranged role, DPS role, tank healer role here on my YouTube channel. Stay positive, stay hyped for this evening just to let you know you are now fully updated what is currently happening with Throne and Liberty, Korean version of the game and global version of the game. Korean version of the game looking good, things are really positive, global version of the game sadly nothing no news but like i said stay positive stay hyped news will come very soon thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on twitch to see more of throne and liberty videos in the future i'm live streaming every evening about six o'clock central european time so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in mmorpg and pc gaming world see you soon